Hope everyone's feeling well today. Welcome to your welcome project sun salutation A video. Within this video we're going to utilize our downward facing dog, upward facing dog, and our chaturanga to create a little quick flow to get our spine warmed up. This flow is definitely utilized anytime in a vinyasa class so getting yourself acclimated with this will definitely be useful when you go to a class with an instructor. This flow is also great if you need just a little bit of a warm up before you get your day going or if your back's feeling a little bit of a stiffness in it. We can begin by coming to our mats taking child's pose so knees come to the outer edges of the mat big toes touch down the center line you can just let your hips sink into the heels forehead into the mat as your hands reach towards the top of your mat everything just surrendering into the ground take about 10 breaths here on your own within those 10 breaths set an intention for yourself Shift your hips forward, over your knees, shoulders stacked above the wrists, coming to all fours. We're going to drop the belly, soften the elbows, gaze up, inhale, cow. Exhale, tuck the chin, belly button pulls up and into the spine, cat pose. Inhale, cow, deep breath in. Exhale, cat, keep pressing the ground away from you as hard as you can. Inhale, cow, gaze up, exhale to your cat pose. Inhale, cow, exhale to your cat. Come to a neutral, all fours, and extend your right foot straight back. Inhale it up, exhale, touch it down. Inhale it up, exhale, touch it down. Inhale it up. Exhale, touch it down, inhale it up, exhale, touch it down, inhale it up, exhale, touch it down. Then extend the left leg for five pulses, same thing. Keeping the hips in line, nice, strong core. Extend both legs straight back, strong high plank. Getting five pulses, shifting your shoulders over your fingertips. And after the fifth, exhale your tailbone up and back to your downward facing dog. You can soften the knees. Maybe bend one knee at a time and walk your dog out. Keeping your fingertips and the knuckles of your hands deeply rooted into your mat. And then exhale, hands walk back to your feet into ragdoll pose. Opposite hand grabs opposite elbow. You can sway side to side. But just keep shifting the hips over the ankles, getting a nice low back release. Inhaling the crown of the head towards the mat and exhaling the top of the chest towards the thighs. And then meeting back in center, release your hands to the mat, heel toe your feet together, get rooted in all four corners of your feet as you lift the toes up and then slowly rise up to a stand, head coming up last, shoulders rising up to the ears and then down your back into the spine. Inhale your hands, heart center up to the sky, extended mountain pose and exhale, swan dive to your forward fold. Inhale to your halfway lift, flat back. Hands can come to 
shins, the top of the thighs or to the side of the hips, and exhale forward fold. Walk your hands out to your high plank, strong core, thighs lifting up towards the sky, and exhale slowly lower everything down to the mat. Tops of the feet are grounded into the mat. Base of the palms are next to the base of the ribs along the side bodies. And inhale to your cobra pose as your chest peels off the mat. Shoulders squeezing together and down your back. Elbows squeezing together. Only the chest is lifted up and then exhale down. And then inhale. Cobra pose but lift your hands off the mat this time. Keep pressing the tops of your feet into the floor and exhale down. This time, inhale to your cobra or your upward facing dog. If you're an upward facing dog, arms straighten, upper arm bones roll back, heart lifts to the sky. And exhale to your downward facing dog, hips and tailbone up and back. Bend one knee at a time, walking your dog out. Inhale, shift to your high plank. Exhale, lower everything to the mat. Inhale to your cobra. Exhale, lower down. Inhale to your cobra, your upward facing dog. Exhale to your downward facing dog. You can pedal out the knees, walking your dog. Inhale, the right heel reaches as high as you can. And exhale, bend the right knee, right hip stacks over the left. Gaze underneath your right armpit. And exhale, the right foot down. Inhale, left heel all the way up to the sky. Exhale, bend your left knee, open it up, stacking the left hip on the right. Gaze underneath the left armpit. And exhale, left foot meets the right. Inhale, high on your tippy toes. And exhale, walk it to the top of your mat. Inhale to your halfway lift, flat back. Exhale to your forward fold, belly button pulls the spine. Inhale to your extended mountain pose, heart up. Exhale, swan dive to your forward fold. Inhale to your halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step it back to your high plank. Exhale, lower all the way down to your low plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale to your downward facing dog. Inhale your right heel up to the sky. Exhale your right heel down. Inhale left heel up. Exhale left heel down. Inhale high on your tippy toes. Exhale bend your knees to the top of the mat. Inhale to your halfway lift. Exhale to your forward fold. Root down in the four corners of your feet and inhale reach extended mountain pose. Exhale swan dive to your forward fold. Inhale to your halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands lower down to your low plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale to your upward facing dog. Exhale to your downward facing dog. Right foot reaches up. Exhale, right knee to left elbow. Inhale, right heel up. Exhale, right knee to nose. Inhale, right heel up. Exhale, right knee to right elbow. Inhale, right heel up. Exhale, place it down. Inhale, your left heel up. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. Inhale, left heel up to the sky. Exhale, left knee to nose. Inhale, left heel all the way up as high as you can to the sky. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, left heel all the way up to the sky. And exhale, place your left foot next to your right. Inhale, high on your tippy toes. Exhale, find the top of your mat. Inhale to your halfway lift. Exhale to your forward fold. Root down your feet and inhale, rise all the way up, extended mountain pose. Exhale, swan dive to your forward fold. Sink your hips all the way to the earth and come to Supta Baddha Konasana. Knees wide, feet binded together, pressing into the, each other at the center of your mat. You can take your arms above your head, cactusing your arms, or you can bring one hand to your heart and one hand to your belly. And just exhaling and surrendering into the earth. Taking a few breaths here. Maybe ten and then take a child's pose. 
or happy baby. Sorry. <laughs> happy baby knees tuck in forearms wrapped around the shins. Get five rocks on your spine. And then rock it to a seated forward fold, both legs extended to the top of your mat. Head hangs heavy. Take about 10 breaths there on your own. And that completes our intro to Sun Salutation A. Inhale your arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Namaste. Thank you guys.